Hello, and welcome to another edition of Between Two Owls. I'm your host, Tom Price, and with us here today is Dr. Angela Bricker from the Department of Biology. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hi, Tom. Thanks for asking me. So where did you grow up, Angela? I grew up um, in Massachusetts, just north of Boston. What kind of stuff did you like to do as a kid? Read, read, uh, ride horses. I really? actually saved for years until I managed to talk myself into um, a position where I could get riding lessons. Oh, that's awesome. I've never actually been on a horse ever. So wow. that's a, <laughs> on the to-do list for me, but um, that's cool. And um, were you interested in science from an early age? Yes, from actually the very first experiment we did in seventh grade where we put some grass and water in a jar and closed it up and then saw things like swimming around a couple days later. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I knew I was gonna do science. And so where did you go for your undergraduate work? Um, so for my undergrad, I went to MIT. Mm -hmm. And you started off as a bio major? I did. Um, I considered a bunch of different majors, but but I just kept coming back to biology. And did you have any influential faculty members in your undergrad? I had a wonderful um, PI. I, I talked my way into his lab my very first semester in school. And, and so he was willing to take a freshman who literally knew nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and the first things that I got to do were to um, help a graduate student print his thesis pictures. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> which was really weird because there I was in a dark room with this total stranger just mm. watching him develop pictures. Um, but, you know, it, it progressed from there until I was running gels and doing experiments on my own. Cool. And what else did you do as an undergraduate student? Were you in any clubs, organization, outside extracurricular activities? I played rugby. You played rugby? Really? I, what position did you play? Um, I played most of the forward positions at one point or another. Awesome. I was truly bad at it, um, but you know, I was another body on the field, so it was all good. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I had just had recently had another guest who was a rugby player as well, Meredith Hag, um, mm -hmm. from the mathematics department. So cool. Um, <laughs> and so then what happened? Where did you go for your graduate work? Um, so actually when I graduated, I wasn't convinced that I wanted to go to grad school. So I, I actually worked for a couple of years um, in a company that was trying to map the human genome. Um, and after I had done Southern blots for a few months, I realized that I really needed to go to graduate school because mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I couldn't do that for the rest of my life. Um, so I went to Harvard um, for grad school and I did a couple of postdocs in the Boston area. Um, for my grad work, I was doing, you know, mostly sort of biochemistry, molecular biology. Uh, okay. And then I, for my postdocs, I, I sort of um, decided to specialize in bacterial physiology and, and, and pathogenesis. Awesome. And then what, how did you make your way to Temple University? Another one of those long and twisty paths. Um, I, when I graduated, I discovered that um, biotech was laying off their uh, bacterial pathogenesis researchers. And the job that I was able to get was in the bacterial um, sorry, in the dairy microbiology unit at the um, local USDA facility. Uh, so we moved down here and I started that job. And, um, and then when I needed something else, uh, I actually sort of fell into a, a job teaching um, as an adjunct in the nursing program. Um, they needed someone to teach microbiology and I could do it. Mm -hmm. So then we brought the course into the biology department so that we could add a lab. And that's how I found my way to us. Cool. And what do you enjoy about teaching Temple students? I, I know this sounds very hackneyed, but I love the diversity. Um, mm. People have such different life experiences. People who've grown up in other countries, people who have grown up in parts of the city that are so different from my experience. Um, Every so often I get to meet someone who's from Massachusetts and that's always really fun. <laughs> cool. Um, but many of the students have things in common with my experience. That is to say, um, I'm not exactly a first generation college student, but I'm a sort of a half generation college student. And I worked, I worked to put myself through college. My husband worked to put himself through college. All of our friends 
weren't mm -hmm. typically mm -hmm. sponsored college. So um, that's an experience that we all share. Cool. I'll shift gears a little bit. Um, so how did you and your husband meet? <laughs> Working. <laughs> we both worked dining service to pay oh. the bills. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. And what do you like to do for fun? Ooh. Um, these days, I really like to get out and walk because it's mm. a reminder that the mm -hmm. world does not end at the walls. Yes. At my house. Um, I also, um, I have a lot of author friends and I, I, huh. um, I help them with their books. So I, I do beta reads for them to make sure that they're consistent and reasonable. And I do editing for them. And, Very um, cool. So what are you currently different. reading? Um, I'm actually reading the last chapter of a friend's book called Heart Song, which is being published in a couple of months. Yes, a couple months. <laughs> cool. And um, what uh, do you have some sort of video streaming service like Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything like that? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's in your queue? <laughs> The, the last new thing that I watched was Bridgerton. Um, mm -hmm. The new thing that I watched before that, oh, For All Mankind, hmm, we watched cool. that. But mostly I just read. So yeah. somebody else in the family might have the TV on, but I'm usually just got my nose Reading. in the book. Awesome. And um, what is a, a sort of, do you have a, a favorite vacation spot or is there a dream destination you're looking forward to going to? Yes and yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I was a kid, we didn't get a lot of vacations, but our our go to place was uh, coastal Maine. Um, oh, wow. and that, cool. that is still a perennial favorite. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Has the advantage of lobster, so I mean, <laughs> can't be beat it, right? Sure. sure. Um, what I want to do someday is go to Italy and just spend some time there. Um, I actually took Italian one last semester. I, really? I can't say it was an unqualified success. Uh, but the thing that I learned, actually, my, my students last semester were very appreciative because uh, I learned exactly how hard it is to balance mm. work and family and being a student. And I was yeah. only being a very part-time, part, -time part sure. the veriest part-time of students. Mm -hmm. um, so they got the benefit of that. They really enjoyed my, my student tales of woe. Like, I got ditched, bye-bye study group <laughs> or oh my god i'm so nervous for this exam um so that was actually um it was enlightening i i, I didn't learn as much italian as i had hoped and i mm. made the decision that while we're online i i just can't continue with yeah, that that's hard. But, um but it taught me a lot of stuff besides the language cool uh, what excites you or inspires you a, a student who recognizes how exciting my, my stuff is, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a student who succeeds. I actually, in the last couple of weeks, have had two students get into veterinary school, which is unheard of. Very cool. Um, and yeah. another get off the wait list into PA school because uh, I wrote her a letter. It's obviously, it's all me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's great. And, and this semester um, passed in the fall. I have to tell you, so I teach clinical microbiology mm -hmm. and it's often kind of a hard sell for people. Like, why do I need to take microbiology? It's so hard and really like, come on. Um, but this semester, this semester was like, was, people were so excited to, to really deep dive into COVID and what's going on and oh, what right. does yeah. all this stuff mm -hmm. mean? And we had the best time. That's great. Um, what's your favorite thing to do in Philly? Hmm. Or what do you like to do in Philly? Do you like to do anything in Philly? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've done some kind of cool stuff in Philly. Uh, when my kids were smaller, the Franklin Museum was always a favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I've wandered around the art museum a couple of times and that that's kind of fun. Although I, I have to admit my attention span is kind of short for the art stuff. Um, I like what I like, and I don't really <laughs> want to hear what other people want to hear talk about. Um, I think um, we like to go down to Reading Terminal Market. Mm. 
Uh -huh. um, and I have, I actually have one of my best friends lives in California and it is a requirement whenever she visits that we have to go down and get Herschel's pastrami. Cool. It's the best. What do you, what do you appreciate in your friends? What do you value? Ah, oh, what do I value in my friends? Um, support. Great. You know, there's, there's Facebook friends and there's the friends that you see at reunions. And then there's the friends that you can call up anytime and say, I need this, please. What do you got? And they'll say, sure, I'll be right there. Yeah, um, that's awesome. I have, you know, one of my best friends, she's my, my younger daughter's other mom. So mm. she's the one I've called up and said, could you please make her birthday cake? Cause I am not gonna get there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good friend, yes. I have some wonderful friends. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to shift it up and do something called the rapid fire response. I'll give you two words and you just state your preference or pass. Uh, tea or coffee? Coffee. Morning or night? Morning. Dark or milk chocolate? Depends. <laughs> <laughs> Offense or defense? Offense. Dogs or cats? Cats. Bert or Ernie? Ernie. Half full or half empty? Definitely half full. Hot or cold? Depends. Awesome. Thanks so much for being on the show today. It's been great chatting with you.